A date has been set for the general election of 2012. The general elections will be held on May 7th. That announcement made just over half an hour ago via a statement from the Free National Movement. According to the statement, Prime Minister Ingram today rang the bell and set off an electoral campaign highlighting the leadership, trust and results of the FNM government. Now, the statement also provides a preview of the Prime Minister's national address to be aired tonight on the ZNS television and radio network. It says in his national address, the Prime Minister will touch on the challenges the country has faced and the work the FNM has done to deliver a brighter future for all Bahamians. Now, this announcement is the climax to quite an eventful day which saw the first constitutionally mandated pre-election event, the dissolution of Parliament, take place. Our Clint Watson was there as the Provo Marshal made the announcement. He joins me live in studio with what happened today. Good evening to you, Clint. Good evening, Keisha. Of course, this is the moment many people have been waiting for because it actually sets things in motion for the actual events to take place for the 2012 general elections. And as you would have said already, we now know the date of that election. But in order for that to have been made possible, there had to have been a dissolution of parliament. And that came in quite a different fashion today. But nonetheless, it came by the Provo Marshal, Commissioner of Police, Alison Greenslade. Parliament shall be and is hereby dissolved on the 10th day of April, 2012. In an unusual twist, the media was called back to the House of Assembly hours later for a second proclamation by the Provo Marshal Commission of Police, Alison Greenslade. While many suggested that an error was made and the announcement of the new date of Parliament accidentally omitted, others summed it up to just a unique twist to history. Both Houses of Parliament, namely the Senate and the House of Assembly, after being duly constituted by the appointment of members and the election of members thereto, as the case may be, shall meet at 10 o'clock in the forenoon of the 23rd day of May, 2012. And with that latest announcement, although still no date, Bahamians were given an even more confined window of opportunity for elections to be called. National Security Minister and Leader of Government Business under the old parliamentary session, Tommy Turnquist, was present for the first proclamation. He told ZNS News while the dissolution of the House means all seats have been vacated in Parliament, the business of the government continues. The, the Parliament has been dissolved. Right. The government continues until the Governor General swears in a new government right and that happens after a general election where we are under our constitution the governor general will call for the leader of the party who wins the most seats uh, in, in the general elections uh, to form a government minister turnquist says the fnm administration is comfortable it was able to complete its legislative agenda we were able to conclude 242 pieces of legislation that is uh, more than the PLP government were able to do between the years 2002 and 2007. In fact, it was 50% more than they were able to do between 2002 and 2007. And so we, we believe that we had a very active uh, parliamentary agenda, uh, we had a very productive parliamentary agenda. Uh, we believe that 90% uh, or better of our manifesto pledges have been fulfilled through our legislative agenda. With crime still a burning issue into general elections, Minister Turnquist says the launch of a five-year national anti-drug strategy, the purchasing of additional equipment, and increasing resources for armed forces have all contributed to the fight. Coupled with that is a holistic approach in terms of social intervention programs and educational opportunities. Look at what we've done in terms of a legislative agenda with regards to the criminal justice system and we're now seeing some dividends being paid off from the amendments to uh, our criminal justice uh, laws that we have passed and or amended. Uh, you look in terms of what we have done in terms of the financial services and, and keeping the Bahamas on the cutting edge in terms of, uh, of, new, of new initiatives uh, coming through. In a, in a, in collaboration with the industry who have been uh, stellar partners with the government in moving that forward. Is already looking to what they want to place on the new legislative agenda for a new term in parliament. Of course, we all know the only thing interfering with that right now is the results of the May 20th, of the May 2012, that is, general elections, which we now know will take place on May 7th.